Welcome again everyone. My name is Shogesh. So far we have done with the zone configuration file update. After that we have discussed forward and reverse lookup file and how to specify records and what that particular record mean. Next thing uh, is to validate whether the configuration which we added uh, is uh, as per standards or that is accepted by bind or not. Plus we have to make sure the things which we have added they are secure. When I say secure, secure mean uh, only required user can make the changes. It is not open for anyone like public to update or change the files. So first thing I'm going to do, you can see on screen too, I'm just dropping name service. After that, I'm going to change the group permission of bad name directory to named. Then I'm going to do change owner to root so no one except root can do the modifications after that i'm running command restore con minus rv var named where i'm uh, restoring the configuration that's basically for SL linux after that i'm uh, doing same for etc name.com once that is done your security things are okay but main thing you have to make sure your syntax check validation is okay so everything which you have added in configuration file that's up to standard or match with standard. For that, there is a utility called name dash check on that is delivered with bind package itself. So you can run that utility where you specify your zone file minus z etc name.conf. Here it checks the file as well as it checks all the relevant forward and reverse lookup files which are mentioned in the etc name.conf whether they have a valid syntax or not. If everything comes okay you can see this kind of output if something bad something breaking it will uh, throw an error once that is done now uh, you can start your name service and check your name service status so let's do a quick lab guys so here first thing i'm going to do i'm going to stop name service that's done so let's change the group ownership for var name directory that's just done let's change the owner of etc name.com it was already root so it said it retained the configuration so let's check it is on by root that's good and let's check var named that also good so we are good so far let's run our restore con we are not using SC Linux but there is no harm to running these commands in case we enable SC Linux later okay this is good so let's do syntax check error on our configuration files so user has been named dash check con dash set etc name dot con you can see it is saying unexpected end of file for which file reverse file so guys uh, something bad because uh, i copy pasted data from my uh, text document maybe something extra got copied so that's a good that's a good thing basically i like uh, problems to happen during session so i can uh, do some debugging in front of you and you will learn something so let's do the fix you know our reverse lookup file was uh, var named reverse dot open sky let's see what is bad here so one thing there is extra line that is okay here for ttl let me see what we got wrong here okay uh what's a mistake here ttl entry should start with the symbol dollar not at the rate that was my mistake i'm getting rid of at the rate and replacing it with dollar so this looks good to me now let's save this file and run validation check again you can see guys this time no error everything is okay but that's a way you can identify uh, and this utility checks everything for you whether syntax is okay or not so guys we are good let's start the name service now another recommendation whenever you do any modification it's always recommended to run the uh, check on utility to make sure everything is as per standards and your service will start or it is not going to break anything so let's start our name service it started let's check the status again 
Okay, it's good. You can see it's active and running. Everything looks good to me. That's it in uh, the session, guys. So in next section, we will be doing our DNS server checkings. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned.